It's been weeks that I'm using Resend to send all the emails from my applications, and I can tell you this is the best tool I ever use to send emails. Resend is the email for developers solution that came out in 2023. And with this new tool, in some lines of code, you can send emails directly from your application. So we are going to create an account immediately on clicking on get started. And here we arrive on create a recent account. So here you are going to fulfill your email, your password, but you can also use GitHub or you can use Google or sign up with SSO. Once it's done, you arrive on the onboarding and actually here they ask us to create a team because yes, with Resend, you can use this tool as a team for your company. So here I'm just going to type uh, code with Guillaume's team, let's say, I'm going to call it this way and I'm going to click on create a team. Once it's done, Resend invites us to send a first email to test immediately the product. So we arrive here and the first step is to create an API key. We are going to click on add an API key and immediately I got this API key that I'm going to keep for later when I'm going to integrate it inside my Next.js application because yes, I'm going to integrate Resend with a Next.js application. Down there, we can see that here I got a command called send an email. And if I click on send an email immediately here, I'm going to have actually a notification, an email has been sent. So I'm going to go to my here, my address to see if this email has been sent. And when I arrive on my address, we can see that I got an hello world with the onboarding and resend with congrats on sending your first email. So immediately here, we see that when we log in for the first time, resend invite us to test the product through these quick steps. And if I update my overview, we can see here that we've got the draft here with the total email on the main page on overview. And we can see here that we've got one mail that has been delivered. And if I click on emails up there, I can see here that I got the email that has been sent with a status and a subject called hello world two minutes ago. But we got to see later how we can deal with more information about emails in here. And we can do it under JavaScript, so Node.js, Next.js, Remix, Nuxt, but also on Ruby, Python, PHP, Go, whatever the language, whatever the framework, uh, Resend SDK is helping us to integrate really fast, um, actually, our email system directly inside our application. I have just created this Next.js 13 application. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to click on documentation. And here we see that we've got a lot of different documentation on how to use Resend. I'm going to click on Next.js. And here we see that we've got two prerequisites to use actually Resend. We got to create an API key. Remember, we just created it. I hope you saved it, but you can still find it inside your dashboard. We are going to use it. We need to verify our domain. And the first step is to install Resend. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to stop my server and I'm going to install Resend inside my app. When it's done, I see here that I need to create a first component called email template. So I'm just going to copy paste this code that I got here. At the root of source, I'm going to create a new folder called components. And inside, I'm going to create an email template.tsx. Inside here, I'm going to copy paste the template. This is the template of the email that we're going to send. Yes, this is a React component that will be used as a template. If I go more down, I can see that what we want to do here is to create a route to send an email from the application, right? So here I got an example and it's going to use the app router from uh, Next.js uh, 13. Or 14 and here at the source actually at app I'm going to create an API folder and inside a new folder called send and I'm going to create a new file called root.ts we are going to trigger this route to send an email exactly like we did uh, before on the onboarding so I'm going to get back in here I'm going to copy paste this piece of code and we miss actually the resend API key so what I need to do is to create an environmental file of file and put the recent API key on the env file. I'm going to type recent API key and here I'm going to copy paste my key. So we should be fine. I just update here the alias and there we go. We should have everything. So if we look at this route, 
we are initiating here the recent SDK. And this recent SDK gives us access to an object email, which has a method called send. And on send, we've got a from, and here, this is the address where uh, the emails are going from, okay? So here we're gonna see later that you can't use any address that you want. You will need to configure a domain or make some configuration. Here, for the example, you can use this address because Resend is giving access to this address to send emails, example emails. And then we got the two, and here we are going to change this address. So we see that we've got an array. The first listen is here. We can have an array to, uh, to send several emails, or you can use just a, 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 a string like this. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to type code with Guillaume at gmail.com. And there we go. Then we've got the subject. You can change the subject if you want. And finally, we've got this React key. And this is where the magic happens. This is where we push the email template. And the email template, it's here. We've got here a props called first name, and it's going to be a div with an H1. So we see that we push the, actually the body of the email that we send under this template. So imagine that in the future, we will have several email templates and we will be able to change everything in here as well as the props, as well as the requests and parameters that we are going to pass later in this course. Okay, I'm back in Postman. I'm going to post to my uh, slash API slash send um, root directly. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to wait for an answer and look at this. There we go. We've got an answer, which is data and we've got an ID and we see that here we've got a UUID. An email has been sent to an address. Actually, I clicked two times and look at this. There we go. We've got here the email that has been received on my mailbox from onboarding at resend.dev. So this route triggered the send of an email to an address, which is my address with a subject and a template. If we go back to my dashboard, I trigger it several times and we can see here that we've got all the emails that have been delivered, okay? And if we pass on deliver, we see that we got a tooltip. Resend successfully delivered the email to the recipient mail server. If I click on the email, I got more information. I got everything that has been sent, the time where, when it has been delivered, and I even got the body, the plain text, the source, the HTML. If I look closely at the UUID on the top, 5F6C, and if I come back here, I can see this is the ID of the email that has been sent. So I can track actually the email that has been sent there. Resend is clearly a game changer. I don't even remember how I used to do before. It's so simple, so efficient. In this series of video, I'm going to show you how to use Resend completely and to probably switch all your system of emailing to this tool. And I'm going to show you also why it's the best tool right now on the market to send emails.